Already, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1 is way over halfway complete, despite us just seeing the first big downtime update of 2024 28.10. Not only has this revealed more Family Guy collaboration skins upcoming, and even a potential trailer set out for one of them that everybody wants to see, tons more cosmetics and free rewards upcoming that you won't want to miss out on, but even Season 2 developments left right in front of our eyes, but on top of that, an actual live event to end off this season proven more so by the day, so stick around until the end, you won't want to miss all of that and more today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the Battle Pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug and I'm going to have to purchase another big cutout now yeah. considering yep, it looks different in the item shop. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof of that recently on screen right now. First of all before we move on to the next extension of the Family Guy collab and what this entails and what's upcoming, of course, Peter Copter is now available in the 28.10 update that just arrived with the Week 8 quests. Ironically, this isn't the last of the Peter Griffin specifically cosmetics, as you can see on the upcoming section, it's labelled here, but that's obviously his laugh, sorry for the impression. Again, the sound effects played when opening the Peter Copter, if you didn't know and have only seen it in the trailer, introducing him to Fortnite this season through the rift that Meowsel's made him go through. Speaking of this final quest rewards section, it states that these are upcoming for the final three rewards anyways in 11 days, and as you guys know, the timer was wrong for the previous ones that just released being Peter Copter, this selectable style for Jones, and then also this banner. Anyways, 11 days onward from when I'm recording right now, January 26th happens to be February 5th, and according to data miners, this, or the day after February 6th, depending on the 24 hours, is when we're meant to be seeing the 28.20 updates, with that meaning the final one also mentioned in Sheena's tweet, 28.30 is February 20th before Chapter 5 Season 2 March 8. Importantly, at the bottom he includes, of course, all these dates can change at any time, which, of course, could mean that the February 6th date that he has on this post could, in fact, be February 5th, when it states, you know, the days onward from now when I'm recording is going to be available, these final three quest rewards. Basically, this could mean 28.20 February 5th. I don't know why I just didn't say it as simple as that, but I digress. Also, when I'm recording, considering Fortnite announced the FNCS 2024 prize pool and also the first event that will be taking place, with it being slightly less than last year with the 10 million dollar budget now down to just over seven and a half million dollars even though this is the case fortnite is still currently the number one most watched game on twitch by a long shot as fncs has officially started today and mongrel alone has a hundred thousand concurrent viewers i know so many people who are judging the numbers of fortnite based off the new three modes implemented and introduced to us or shown for the first time in the big band being festival lego and rocket racing and because lego had like two million if not a million concurrent players at the start of chapter five and now it only has like less than a hundred thousand every Everybody seems to think for whatever reason Fortnite is falling off, but it couldn't be further from the truth considering their bread and butter battle royale is still pulling strong in all forms, whether it be normal, builds, zero build and across ranks. And then you have all of the other maps as well that other people are making that have thousands of concurrent players. Lego's player base specifically is going to be bouncing back it looks like in the near future considering mods and DLC might be coming to Lego Fortnite in the future as a few minutes ago when Sheena tweeted Epic Games sent out a new player survey and one of the questions mentioned was mods and DLC for Lego Fortnite. On top of that even more good news especially affecting the lego player base as well is ios returning that's right fortnite on iphone if you were to go and play on the actual app now if you still have a phone that works with it already downloaded on you would be stuck literally three chapters ago in chapter two season three this exact version of the island by the way it was literally the cars update or just before the cars update i believe it got disabled or the free fortnite movement went down which literally had apple force it off the app store although at the time we got a ton of v bucks refunded for the free fortnite movement since then v books have obviously increased in price due to inflation and such and despite it being concluded that there is no more hearings for this case and apple have in fact won with epic games having to pay 70 million plus dollars according to the u.s supreme court to apple in terms of legal fees believe it or not we still have good news fortnite last night posted on x or twitter remember fortnite on ios how about we bring that back later this year fortnite will return in europe on ios through epic games store shout out dma an important new law in the eu making this possible Apple, the world is watching. To correlate to that watching comment, they added this scene from the Season X trailer as a GIF, and I managed to, you know, determine that Peely's gone missing because Apple captured it. Despite that being a joke, of course it would make sense considering Peely's everywhere, even in the Apple vs. Epic court hearings. There was a segment where they were going on about, you know, how is it suitable for children to have a clothless banana or a naked banana, to which Epic replied, I believe, it's just a banana, man. Hopefully Epic have their own.
Warzone store up and running in Europe before the release of Season 2 or to go along with it, this would be huge for the game overall. And with us knowing this is going to go good for even just Europe, with the world watching, hopefully this spreads across the entire globe in the future, who knows. Before Season 2 releases, however, we have a huge Stage 2 event to the TMNT collab, which we only right now in game have not only the first wave of skins and their Lego forms, but these strains revamped to get to the underground section of the map where we can find underground Jones as an NPC. First of all, all of this is going to be revamped, I've shown it off in other videos and such to be more TMNT decorated, but with that, we are also going to be seeing everything else or most things contained on this list, such as an event pass and even a mythic, maybe even a TMNT specific design supply drop actually dropping these, kind of like we saw with the My Hero Academia supply drops, remember these from Chapter 4 Season 1, and who knows, in the next days or weeks even before 28.20 or maybe going live with that update early February, considering Epic Games are back in office now, data miners have revealed a high quality look at all Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle event teasers, and as you can see just in image form, here is the first, the second, and then the third revealing a new skin, the enemy of the TMNT being Shredder. You can tell this is an event or limited time pass or event pass, considering it has its own kind of little tab right there. It literally looks like a smaller version of the drain. And I'm just going to stop talking for a few seconds and let you guys hear the raw sound effects to get the full feel of everything that we're going to be seeing before it is in-game. Honestly, I just hope Shredder's a part of this pass, whether it's in the paid for section or not, and make sure to use code FM1 for when this does come around, or him rotating throughout the item shop. The other event pass we still have right now that no one's talking about is Season 1 of Fortnite Festival. Currently, we're in Week 8 to unlock everything in the free top line section or the paid bottom line section. Speaking more specifically about the item shop though, we'll actually confirm 28.10's actual release date before Fortnite did. Alier announced that he would be getting a revamp to his, of course, Icon Series skin. That would then be in the item shop the night of or after 28.10 release, which didn't come to be. He did do a follow-up post stating that they won't be added to the item shop due to issues with the new Lego style not appearing in game, but some more accurate information about how long that's delayed by for all of the icon skins that were promised or expected to be upcoming is according to Sheena, the return of the icon skins to the item shop has been delayed by one week due to a bug according to the Gref G. It's safe to say these are all upcoming around the start of February unless further issues are ongoing that we will be updated about, but even more on the item shop despite the Metal Gear Solid collab releasing its continuation being Raiden in the item shop although we didn't get this style that literally everybody was wanting. Some people are speculating it was this version teased in the chapter 4 trailer and it's got scrapped but either way there's still a ton of other cosmetics in the files such as this bird bundle which honestly are my favourite out of the entire 28.10 leak cosmetics update considering this was off the Fortnite surveys expected being a silly skin to be in a battle pass and then on top of that there's still two more bundles to release in the item shop being well these that you see on screen right now. As of right now, there's no dates for these alongside what I'm about to mention specifically, but more Fortnite X Family Guy skins are arriving soon according to data miners. As I'm editing, I've had to record back into this video considering one of those Family Guy skins has now released being the giant chicken which was in the files all those years ago, initially leaked under the codename French Fry in the Peter Griffin fight. There's one thought that came to mind that Sheena put in a tweet literally instantly as I opened X or Twitter. How did this chicken make it into Fortnite like that but Peter was deemed too big with his normal body proportions. Maybe Seth MacFarlane was telling the truth and not joking around in this clip where he talked about the reason Epic Games didn't implement normal Peter Griffin. Very muscular in there, yes. right? Yeah. I was told that like they didn't have the budget to create his actual body, so they had to like stick his head on... Uh, so it's like that TV Guide cover from the 90s where they put Oprah's head on Anne Margaret's body. Yeah. This obviously leaves characters like Lois, Quagmire, Cleveland maybe, Meg, and even Stewie specifically that everybody wants to see as Brian's now a bat bling, Which could be in no other than like what we saw for Morty, the Mecha Morty version. This seems to work. Literally a Stewie Griffin model on Morty's Mecha kind of robot. And just like I've wishfully thought in the title, maybe they release a cinematic just like they did for Mecha Morty that you're seeing in the background right now, but for Mecha Stewie arriving in Fortnite. How cool would that be? Leave a like on this video if you agree. In terms of what's happening now before Season 2 releases, though, according to the Battle Pass right now, this season ending March 8th, Data Miners are able to find that Earthquakes are returning as an event flag, kind of like what we saw at the end of Chapter 4 Season 2, where inevitably more started happening, cracks appeared around the outskirts of Mega City, and then boom, in the Wilds trailer, we saw everything of this happen that you're seeing on screen in the cinematic trailer, the jungle biome completely being revealed. As of even yesterday, there's even more intel on this to suggest 
suggest it's upcoming, whether it's to build up to an event or a trailer happening, Hypex stated, Earthquakes will start happening next update around the map as a lead up to Chapter 5 Season 2, spotted by Spush FNBR. With the past 12 months of Fortnite, or should I say 13, from Fracture to the Big Bang, kind of proving that in turn of an annual chapter we get an annual live event to do that transition, and even though we've never seen a live event for the first season within a chapter upon launch, for instance Chapter 2 Season 1, Chapter 3 Season 1, and Chapter 4 Season 1, they didn't have live events. The guy who Hypex referred to in that post about them upcoming, Spush FNBR, dove further into the files stating, not confirmed this season or next we could receive an event to play in. This is because the final maintenance screen will be removed from the files in version 29.00 and an in-game counter will be removed in version 29.10. Even further good news, what might be involved in that is Midas, due to his T's return alongside a lot of things from Chapter 2 Season 2 in all honesty, with props washing up around the outskirts of the island of those Battle Pass skins. Again from Spush, rumour in 28.10 a text was added that says Midas Yacht. Currently the yacht that is in-game has the name Yacht only, and for some reason Midas was added to it. Not only that, but there's still an unreleased floor is Lava LTM, or should I say that Data Mine is found. Midas presents the floor as Lava for whatever reason, which could imply also his return on top of the fact one of these props that is in-game right now from Chapter 2 Season 2 is his chair overlooking from this weird-looking building the entire island. That's without mentioning at the Grand Glacier, literally these doors right here, despite it being a very gold-touched hotel, which we know Midas is responsible for. These doors are literally the exact from his agent lair or meeting room, of course, that we all saw characters gathered in at the end of the Chapter 2 Season 2 trailer. Drop a like if you're excited for Chapter 5 Season 2 and the continuation of these Family Guy skins now the Giant Chicken has released. Subscribe with all notifications turned on to be updated as soon as they rotate. Enter code FM1 now for when you pick up the Giant Chicken or any others that do come to the game, but speaking of other videos, click either of these two YouTubes recommended you on screen. It's a good suggestion whilst you wait for the very next one I do publish on the channel.